Hello guys and welcome back to Play of the J. We just saw two rounds of play so far. Frostfire taking both chicken dinners so far here. Let's see how things are going to shape up in the second half. And so for round three and our second round on Erangel here, we're going to have uh, the plane uh, going all the way from Sosnovka Island up towards uh, South George. So uh, maybe going to cut out places like Stalberg just a little bit here, but I don't think that that's going to be too much of a problem for these players. I can still expect to see others might go to Yasnaya or Severny, uh, maybe Lipovka as well, as uh, we're already seeing that some of the other players here are going to be dropping out quite early here. As it uh, looks like BAE going to be going towards Milta again. Stage um, The face gaming, sorry, is going towards the Milta power region as well. Going to repeat that. It's going to be quite their uh, favorite spot we see gang fty is going to be heading towards the the prison and lumber mill area here again uh, i think geek fam also going to be going for a similar area as well as mansion and the shelter areas um it looks like menacopi job actually going for this farmland region here is uh frostfire doing something different they're not going to yasnaya again going to change things up a little bit here but there is going to be a number of players in this area vengeance also does have that presence as well. Quacker here, going to be very happy all by themselves here. Military base while Stadium Fighter going to be over here in Novo. Now, looks like uh, Flash Vision going to be going for Pochinki here. And going to change things up a little bit. Physrix Gaming, or rather Lemon uh, Gaming Gold here, not going for the school region as well here. Looks like uh, the most neutral circle that we've seen uh, so far this evening here. It's going to be quite central, a little bit northern side here. So probably going to see people take cars, go towards Yasnaya and Severny here, just go because it's going to be such an easier looting phase for them. And it's going to be far away from the flight path, so running into other teams is definitely going to be a very low chance right there. Uh, team o &E here going to be around the quarry side. They did take this spot a little bit early on. And uh, Fissure Esport going for something different. They did go to the, the uh, Water Town a little bit earlier on. Red Sea going to go for the trademark Rosok. They don't have Fissure Gaming here to worry about. They are hanging around in the Gatka region. Uh, where it's also going to be Gold Army Factory hanging out there. Gaventure going for the consistency here. Going to go for South George. While... Um, Jay Muse here for Vengeance here going to be very far away. I'm not sure if he was AFK or uh, had trouble connecting or something like that. Uh, but he is actually quite far away from the rest of uh, Vengeance at the moment. So we'll see how that will shape up a little bit later on. We see Gang FTY taking their vehicles. Going to Lipovka here. Going to be nice and far away from most of these other teams. Geek Fam also securing some early vehicles themselves. But looks like Frostfire... Um, given the position of the circle here, definitely going to be going for Yasnaya again. But Alan Lembo here taking quite a few shots there from Rosex D and the rest of uh, Minokopi Jab. Not able to land uh, too many of the shots there, but uh, he's still going to be a little bit on the wounded side here as he continues to meet up with the rest of his teammates just around this farmland region. But uh, for the most part, uh, Min. Uh, the Minokopi Jug guys are also a little bit on the spread outside here, but they don't have too many players in between them anymore, so that should be fairly okay for them. Frostfire here, pulling pulling into Yasnaya, gonna be looting up to their heart's content. Dankirk actually meeting up with the rest of Gang FTY a little bit later on, given that I think he only just managed to secure a vehicle for himself. Genius team here, going to go all the way north to shooting range. I would expect to see them go to Severny as well, just because they will uh, likely know that there's not going to be many teams going to want to deal with that, uh, or rather go into that area here. But Milta definitely going to be very familiar here in terms of the teams occupying this. is pretty much uh, the same as uh, round number one. Now, it looks like Neural Aini for Stadium Fighter already starting to make some of those early moves here and try and get in. Now, Frostfire has a huge amount of loot available to them if they all congregate here at Yasnaya. And um, remember, guys, they are our winners for both rounds one and two so far. So they're having a fantastic evening here and should be jumping up quite far on the standings tables here. Now, Physics Gaming Invitational Scrims here is going to be accumulating points from all of the scrims that we have every Friday. Um, and uh, we've already had two rounds of play over the last uh, two weeks. So this is round three. There's only one more round uh, next week to decide who is going to be the winner of uh, Token Gift from uh, Physics Gaming here. 
for managing to come out on top of all of these uh, very well-regarded Malaysian PUBG teams here and assembling some of the best that uh, Malaysia has to offer, in fact. And uh, we're getting to see a lot of that good gameplay here and uh, we're already seeing that, like, uh, consistency is always a, is something that we talk about um, when it comes to, like, competitive PUBG in general. But I think most of the time, you know, that's within, like, a one weekend setting so you usually will only be able to see, say, for example, in one day or two days, you know, like how these teams will be shaping up in terms of the consistency. But this is actually over four weeks. So it really tests them quite substantially. I think last week we saw a, a very different set of winners uh, from the first round. And there was a, a lot of teams actually very close together in terms of the overall placing. So that's a... Uh, Everything that we do want to see here uh, from a viewer standpoint here as we do want to see how these teams can be shaping up here. Who is putting in more practice here? There are a lot of scrims that go on uh, from a day-to-day -day basis here. But definitely this is, uh, well, this is only once a week here. But the teams that we have on offer, definitely going to be awesome. So guys, if you are wondering how it went down last week. Um, which I think the notable uh, highlight was that uh, Gang FTY won two of the chicken dinners there as um, we did see two other winners as well. Uh, Frostfire did win round one as well in that previous round that we had. So if you do want to try and catch out the action there, do visit my YouTube channel. Video link is, or rather the channel link is in the video description. You can have a look at the VODs which I have uploaded there and catch rounds one to four for your viewing pleasure. So now looking at how things are going here, the blue zone is starting to close in and we're already seeing um, whether teams are going to start occupying those central positions here. Frostfire opting not to put all four players here in the Asaya. They do want to try and get some of these very central spots here around Resort and School Area. Currently, it does look like School Area. We are going to have Stage Gaming hanging out in the apartment complex. Wilk's going to be looting up by himself here in the school side of things. Whereas Resort, we do have the, the whole of Red Sea just going at it. Now, they did take some heavy losses in round number one when they did come here as well, as Physics Gaming was invading on their established territory. But, uh, of course, it's all fair game in PUBG. You know, you could go exactly where you like. And, of course, you want to try and practice, even at this very high level, to being able to play in many different areas, you know, as it does mean that it will make it for a very nice and well-rounded uh uh, for a very nice and well-rounded uh, team to be able to play just with the, all the various conditions here. But it looks like Vengeance here in trouble. They have moved into this location here, but they're facing off against Stage Gaming here at the moment. But it looks like, um, I think Vengeance here going to take the first loss. And it does look like Mox and Mune going to try and hang out here for the time being. Sim going to prime the nade here. Mox, I'm not sure if he's going to uh, get... Caught out by the nade here, but looks like he's going to be doing a lot of the catching out himself here in this situation. But now he's just going to try and get the heal off while there is going to be pressure coming into this area for the time being. And uh, for the most part here, looks like uh, they're going to just take it a little bit slowly. Uh, Dave Hughes here moving in here, but Alan Lembu did get taken out a little bit early on. But now reinforcements are here. Looks like Sim here not going to get helped out by Kit Zyong and Young G. Uh, as they're going to be continuing to back out here for the time being. Now, it looks like everyone else here is also very much in the movement here. Actually, most of the teams here are already inside the circle, and they can afford to move in late. It's just whether the teams really want to try and pile into these very central areas here. As currently, we see Quacker here also moving in on this zone. But they have to be a little bit mindful whether or not there's going to be a lot of problems here or not here. Kitsyong still currently very close to the Vengeance players here at the moment. And Badman is actually going to catch out a Taro here in rotation. The Stadium Fighter is going to be in a little bit of a unfortunate position here, losing those players early on. But now looking at things here, Gang FTY is still hanging out on these coastal roads here. Rascal for face gaming here, uh, taking that early position there ahead of the rest of his team, trying to shoot at those other players in rotation. So he's just going to try and see whether or not that he can um, secure this compound and wait for the arrival for the rest of face gaming here. Um, 
Just give me one second, guys. Just have to reply an urgent message. Alright, sorry guys, um, urgent message uh, dealt with here, so we can get back to the game. Looks like Flash Vision here getting, uh, catching out Awad here from uh, Fistrix Gaming, in fact. So he is actually trying to pave the way for the rest of his team. He is a little bit of a loner in that uh, sense while he does get that valuable scouting information. So the rest of Fistrix Gaming here probably not going to want to make their moves too much yet. And uh, looks as though that we have Stadium Fighter taking up this position here, trying to put some long range shots towards Quacker who are currently taking up that position near the school side of things here. So the two Sosnovka Island teams here going to be dealing at long range. Forzen and Croft Barzum are actually moving towards the apartment complex. And uh, Frostfire all consolidating their position as well. Nice and centrally here, going to try and get ahead of the circle. So if you do get these very central positions here, unless it's a huge and drastic shift, you're likely to be very central inside the circle here. But Kbyte takes a big hit there from Janks there, showing off his... Sniping progress as we always tend to do see him um, in all these competitive games here as um, currently Geek Fam going to be nice and consolidated as well here. I think they did suffer from losing one or two players here or there in some of the earlier games. So we're not able to show what they can do at full strength there, but now they have got that very good position here. Mox going to still be up in the second floor there with J Muse and Croft Barzim here. Going to see whether or not he can catch them out or not. But for the time being, him and Forza here are just holding their lanes right now. Just going to wait and see. And it looks like we will have our drastic shift. And it looks like Flash Vision and Physics Gaming here are going to be really happy with the, how things have turned out here. Stage Gaming might opt to stay inside the school area for the time being. And Forzen gets taken down by Wilkes there, using that SLR to great use there. And now Vengeance here going to still continue to put pressure onto Quacker as well. But Bob uh, Barzim here going to be getting that rest off here in just a little bit. Gang FTY starting to make their rotation here. Frostfire already in motion. All these teams might decide to make their moves right now, try and get those secure spots. And also everyone else is in rotation here at the same time. So definitely going to help them out here as uh, we're seeing the mass exodus from the central eastern region of the map here. Everyone just racing ahead here. Going to try and secure some of those spots. Stage Gaming here opting to stay put here. It looks like Wilkes here going to get Terrence in rotation there. Oni going to lose one of their players right now. As Carly, look at what you shoot at right now. You know, there's just so many targets. It's a bit of a gallery here, but a very quick one in that. As they're all going to continue onwards. This Gang FTY looking to overtake uh, all the players here. As Carly, everyone... Piling in towards the center, Flash Vision here, going to be putting pressure off to Gang FTY here, M0. Managing to dodge almost all of the bullets there, so it's... Oh, Sly DD knocks himself out there. I think he get, got too much pressure there from Wilkes. Wilkes going to confirm his second kill of the game there. As everyone all in rotation right now and really facing uh, uh, the, the kind of pressure you just don't want right now. As there's quite a few teams just opting not to make their moves just yet here. And uh, looks like Muni here also trying to put some shots towards Savior. His car gets blown up here, but Mox actually... Got in, uh, got, gets taken down here. Now Savior should be able to get away here in just a little bit here. But looks like the rest of Geek Fam here moving into this position. I think they have managed to take down one of the ONE players here. Kenny and Jenks currently out in the middle here. But taking fire from all directions. There's going to be Frostfire in a very close proximity here. Trying to get some shots in their direction. But Jenks here going to be really out in the open here. He has to pop the... the the heels there right now but looks like face gaming here taking down the players from the stadium fighter here looks like rascal gonna pick up the kill there on neural Aini. she gets taken down permanently as well so now it looks like face gaming here has good position looks like stadium fighter knows that's what's up and they're gonna back out here in just a little bit but uh, I think we are seeing that there's a major altercation here. Sorry, I didn't see the start of it. But it looks like it's between Battle Arena Elites and the, the, the Mr. Esports players here. But looks like that's going to be it. As Xiao Wei, Loki's uh, are going to be cleaning up. And they're also going to be maintaining most of their squad strength here. Sophia, unfortunately, gets taken down here. They're not going to be able to continue the fight just that much longer here in this game. But uh, the rest of them are going to be resetting the fight a bit here. So I think there's uh, still one or two of the other 
PAE players that was knocked down in that fight. But now we are we do have Oni here, Oni here, uh, gonna hang out here on the edge of Rivertown as there's also gonna be flash vision here. They were facing off earlier on in uh, round number one here when we did actually have uh, quite a few teams here. There was going to be Fister Esport and Fister Gaming doing their thing, but now it looks like uh, Lemon Gaming Gold here going to be in a bit of a difficult spot. Sepuger and Fibrin here hiding out inside uh, this area here, but it looks like oh, I'm going to spot out Sepuger. Going to get that knocked down as uh, they're looking to clean out this whole ruins area. Byron here, probably gonna just hold this position, see whether or not he can get a pick there from a potential ambush in the future. But Sepuja are gonna relay all that information as much as he can right now. But, uh, wow, looks as though Stadium Finder went all the way up to the northeastern side here after they ran away from the engagement there. Um, but now it looks like uh, the Circle here going to be more around Rosok, Rivertown, and School area here. So, in the apartment area, it's still going to be Quacker uh, occupying all these uh, eastern side apartment blocks here. Vengeance still going to be occupying that same building. Mune actually going to be moving over to the side here and this is going to be a little bit of a standstill for the time being stage gaming also opting to stay at school looks like it's going to pay dividends here so we did have quite a number of teams moving all the way around to the other side here but now red sea after being able to stay here and result for the most part uh, does have intruders in the form of genius team here who did move in from that northern side they did move all the way up towards uh shooting uh, shooting range and everything but they have now moved in here to try and stake their claim in the center of the circle but uh there's also going to be minocopy jump here they're going to be hanging out just close to close by near the bridge on the western side of Result for the time being. Gang FTY moving in from Pachinki right now. Looks like Battle Arena at least really taking their time here as uh, ooh, they do have Gaventure ahead of them as well. So that could be a little bit dangerous for them depending how this is going to go. 56 players left alive here so far. And um, currently we are gonna see how and these teams do want to navigate. Some of these teams just not inside the circle just yet here. And it's going to start moving in pretty soon. Gold Army Factory here moving in as well through the ruin side. But there's already two teams here that they have to be a little bit mindful of. And uh, currently they don't have any vehicles themselves. So there's going to be a lot of uh, navigating through all these uh, treacherous and potentially uh, ambush-like uh, areas here. But now it looks like Dankirk here under a lot of fire here. Trying to get out of the way there for Gang FTY who's uh, managed to take up this spot here just southwest of school for the time being. Looks like Face Gaming here moving in slowly in the southeastern side of the circle. And uh, probably just going to buy their time here. They probably know that there's going to be a lot of teams going to be inside the center of the circle already. Who Some of them have already held their spots since the start of the game here. And now Quacker, of course, is not one of them. They were in Sosloka military base and have actually transitioned over towards this place here. Now, looking at how things are going to be shaping up in a little bit here, Stadium Fighter are probably going to still opt to stay in that corner. They are consigned to uh, playing on the edges of the circle. Battle Arena leads also another one of the teams there. As, uh, they don't want to try and uh, navigate through all these regions here. As currently, there's just between all these main compounds that have been already taken. There's just a lot of open space, so these guys can actually get taken down fairly easily. As we did see that there was a bit of a shooting gallery as everyone was moving past the school area there. And those Landing quite a few shots there, but Mr. Pa there, unfortunately his uh, ghillie suit not helping him out there as he gets taken down by Onigate. But the rest of um, his team Flash Vision should be able to save him as uh, currently it's not looking too drastically uh, bad here. But looks like uh, Fizzard's Gaming here in a bit of trouble. Came at one at nine holy, really going to town there for Gold Army Factory. They pick up those three kills there as they finish off Fizzard's Gaming here. So Vibrant, I'm not sure if he's going to be happy that... Um, he might have some revenge for the loss of uh, Sepuja just a little bit early on. And uh, oh, a nice little loot crate, but it's it, a little bit treacherous here. A little bit out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, currently most of the teams are inside already. Looks like Adventure really opting to go for a very safe route to try and get into the northern side here. But there's fast decreasing the number of places that you can go. And with this uh, kind of circle priority that we will see at this stage of the game, it is going to shift down out of from the any of these waterways here. So... It's still covering pretty much a whole bunch of these teams that just have not uh, decided to make too many movements here in these early stages. But yeah, the standstill here going to continue for the time being as uh, currently Vengeance here might be depleting some of their, their meds. They just want to make sure that they don't get rushed here as uh, currently both teams know that uh, unless they really have to force the fight here, they don't really want to force the issue. As uh, it's not going to be good for the team's resources as a whole, but looks like Darka's getting knocked down here. 
As the rest of Flash Vision is starting to push out from the river town. Mr. Pa getting taken down now while they're getting up Darkus. Rosex D here trying to get the nade out there. Mr. Pa is on his second knot already here. So he's fast bleeding out for the time being. And uh, now the rest of Minokopi Jap here can start to maneuver themselves in such a way. But it looks like Kenny here going to get some kill uh, knock there onto Badman here as he's got the whole of Battle Arena at least advancing onto his position. Currently Savior is not around here so he really is going to have to try and hack it out here. He's throwing all the nades he has available here to try and prevent this push but looks like Onigate and the rest of uh, Team ONE here might be coming up over the top there and looks like uh, Loki's able to get the knock there first there and uh, now Chiao Wei has to try and come in in a better position here but it looks like um, Zoe here actually went uh, for Zobi here actually went for the kill there and wasn't able to take down that last player from Battle Re Le Arena Lee sorry and Flash Vision here getting the smackdown put onto them by middle copy Chuck coming up over the top here Rosox D got knocked down but looks like he should be saved here as um, they're going to continue uh, dealing with the uh, potential opposition here but uh, I don't think that they know Gaventure is starting to move across the bridge in their direction but they're going to have to be a little bit careful of that meanwhile the whole time Pak was able to see them out here but he only has the M16 with the four times here De enough to put enough pressure onto them but probably not enough to to secure any uh, big connections there and uh, just going to be a lot of chip damage here currently everyone really congesting in on this area here as Chiawei is getting sandwiched here he's got the whole of gold army factory moving in currently Kenny just going to be hanging out behind that little ridge here and I'm not sure whether gold army factory knows that of their potential presence just a little bit further on Chiawei going to go prone here for the time being see whether or not he can escape from this yeah See whether or not he can escape from this um, uh, particular area here. But he's taking a lot of nades. The nade comes in there. Ooh, it's not quite enough there. But looks like uh, Gaventure here is uh, finished off Kadarkas from Minokopi Jap here. And um, here it looks like Gaventure moving in. Looks like they eliminated the whole of Minokopi Jap there in that instance. They're not able to move out from those buildings here. Genie's team forced to move down from the north side of Rozok here. Red Sea going to be uh, posting up on, the, on them. Try and prevent them from moving down towards the circle here. Chao Wei actually still alive here and able to escape from uh, Geek Fam's uh, Kenny and also Gold Army Factory here as he's starting to move in. Gang FTY does have this position currently uh, in that compound very close by and they do have Frostfire on one side here as uh, there's currently Gold Army Factory starting to move into this position here. And, uh, oh, Alan's getting caught out there. Nine Holy with a nice headshot there. And looks like Ha goes at long range, gonna catch out Xiao Wei and Battle Arena leaves in trouble. So Alan's is pretty much done for here. I don't think that M0 and Danker are gonna be able to come and save him. But luckily, Grizzom here doing some favors here, taking down uh, KMF1 there. But he gets taken down in turn by Nine Holy. And now it's going to be Nine Holy and Dreams to try and move in here. Looks like Dankirk and M0 are going to hang out by the rocks here for the time being. Kenny is still also close by. Stage Gaming having a very nice central position. And uh, looks like apartment complex, not much has changed here. As, except that Quacker has moved over towards the western side just a little bit more. They are spread out here. If one of them goes down, it's going to be very difficult to get the rest off here. But Vengeance here also moving over towards the western building here a little bit more. And Mock's probably going to make the transition here as well as uh, they anticipate for future movements. But now a lot of smokes coming out here from Genius Team here as they are going to be trying to see whether or not they can get through this zone here. In just a little bit here, they're going to be running through the blue zone, taking quite a bit of damage in the process here. But at the... Oh, it looks as though they're running right into Dini and the rest of Stadium Fighter here as well. It looks like Dini taking on Usui here. And it looks like one nade from Kenny gonna take down both Danker and M0 and Gang FTY are gone. And now it looks like uh, we have Red Sea here putting pressure onto Dini and he gets taken out here as well. As uh, currently, there's only going to be Kahaya who's going to be left here. As uh, Nazi also facing a lot of wrath here from Red Sea. They're just trying to use this position as best they can. Move in late into the circle, but NJRX moving in here for Gaventure. They're going to try and really be a huge thorn in Red Sea's side here. Papa Zaya getting knocked down here. And uh, now there's only going to be Joku and Hahobus to try to deal with this potential push here. NJRX is going to move around the side while. Uh, there's a bit of distraction going on there. Don Pablo going to get taken down as well. Joku here going to be a bit exposed there. Oh, able to get down the hill in time there. But takes down Zera. And looks like he gets the shot on NJRX as well. Joku is playing out of his mind. And uh, apparently Nurar 
uh, Nora Yon? Or just called Nora. It's gonna try and deal with it, but now Red Sea has the chance to fight back here and uh, try and deal with this Rain's Era. Only for Rest can get off at this time here. And Nora taking quite a few hits there in the process. And Hahagus is still down here for the time being. Papa Zayed here not making the push just yet here. As he does want to see how it's going to go. But looks like uh, we have Pei here coming out on the rear here. He's going to go for both of them. And Papa Zayed and Hahagus are in big trouble here. And uh, looks like uh, Joku here going to have to reevaluate whether or not he won't really wants to push it up. And that's lucky for Rain Zara here. That gives him enough time to move into the position here, but it looks like Joko here going to press it forward anyways, confirms the kill, or rather takes out and confirms the kill onto Nora, but currently Rain Zara just hanging around the side. I'm not sure whether Joku actually managed to see that. He's trying desperately to climb up there, but Rain Zara is looking prepared here and uh, going to... Be oh, he took his eye away, but able to come back just in time there. And Rain Zara able to get the second kill of the game. And uh, looks like base gaming here starting to try and move into the zone of Chi. Going out here all by himself as uh, currently everyone else is still on the high ground for face gaming here. He's backed up just a little bit. Currently stage gaming here does have uh, intruders in the form of crossfire. They are moving into this position here. Adol and Revax going to be in the lower ground here while Teddy is still in the main school side for the time being here. As Reigns are able to take down Paid and Genius team going to get eliminated here in this game. And ooh, a nice shot coming out there from the ropes there. But he's taking a bit of fire there from Teddy after he was just trying to make do with the current situation there. Now he's going to prime the nade. This could be detrimental there, but I think he's managed to crawl into um, some cover there for the time being. And it looks like stage gaming going to be safe for now. There's still one more nade there for Teddy. Now, can he get it in there as... Uh, Oh, it looks like it's going to bounce off over the side there. It looks like Nine Holy going to finish off Conventure here. Rain Zara gets taken down there. And now Face Gaming here is still going to be taking a lot of fire here. They're all hiding behind the one A, uh, UAV here. UAZ, sorry. And uh, it looks like they're going to be safe for the time being. Currently, they are inside the zone technically. And the Quacker and uh, Vengeance here are still going at it. They have been non-stop for quite some time now after really juking it out in the apartment section here. And now Mune is trying to move up. Up looks running out in the open. He gets taken down there. And now Skyrex is going to have to try and get the res off here. But he is all alone. Kahaya from Stadium Fighter is still up in that shack. So he can still be trying to do what he can. But now Circle here going to be shifting uh, um, a little bit central here. And uh, looks like Frostfire could still be inside as well. But Stage Gaming going to definitely be inside with that nice position that they have. Teddy is still in the main... Um, Pool section here, Revax and Adol starting to move inside here after vacating the ground floor. I think they didn't want to push up the stairs there. It's going to be a little bit too dangerous dealing with stage gaming. But Skyrex getting a nice shot there. Um, but now he's at the mercy there, Kaya. But uh, looks like um, Kaya's Nate going to be good there, finishing off Quacker. And Vengeance also meeting their end there as um, we saw them get it under a lot of fire there from Frostfire. So Frostfire still on course to get their third chicken dinner in a row, but not if uh, Nine Holy has anything to say about the AWM headshot onto Revax there. And he's all alone on the hill there, but he does have stage gaming to worry about here and he's gonna get picked off. I don't think that there's gonna be anything that Dreams can do to really help him in this situation. But Wilk's gonna throw out quite a few nades there to try and confirm the kill here. I don't think that they're going to be too close though. And base gaming is going to be alive here all the way in the southeastern corner, southwestern corner. But Rascal is knocked down. It's going to be Zach and Sarah Veeam here. Going to still be up for now. But uh, it's not looking good. They don't have a position inside the circle. Kahaya has to play it very carefully here. But uh, looks as though Nine Holy here able to survive from that one. But the uh, Revax also. <coughs> Excuse me. Has been reset as well. The smokes are coming out here. Should be okay, but now it's going to be Zaka and Sarah Beam here trying to move in from the the outside here, as they're the only team still not in. But they have quite the Ibiza smoke train going on here, and uh, they're going to try and use that to the max here. But Stage Gaming might have their attention a little bit split here. They do have to worry about uh, Frostfire, who's currently inside this position, and it does look like Revex here 
still going to be without a helmet for the time being. So that's something to think about here. But Kahaya going to get taken out there. And now we're down to four teams here. As currently is going to be Gold Army Factory Face Gaming, Stage Gaming, and Frostfire still alive here in this game. But Frostfire does have this good position here that they can look down onto the Gold Army Factory players. But uh, currently the Smokes are going to tie this over just for a little bit. As uh, currently uh, we do have... Uh, yeah, as currently we do have them moving in just a little bit, but the smoke is going to dissipate. And uh, now they are going to be stuck in that ditch. But the circle here favoring stage gaming and frostfire again here. And in that um, flurry of action there, it looks like Seravim here and Zach have managed to make it all the way out here and uh, get into a very safe position on the wall here. I don't think we're going to see uh, stage gaming or frostfire come out to get them here, but... Um, Currently, it looks like they are inside the circle. It's going to be Gold Army Factory that really has to think about how they want to transition from this stage here. Now, Revax here, going to be alone here on the roof. He can still go use the hatch if he wants to, but uh, since they have that circle, they are going to probably maintain their position here. As Gold Army Factory starts to come in, they are going to be in... Uh, uh, or rather, the Golden Army Factory going to get caught out uh, quite drastically here. But a lot of proning inside the building, in fact, uh, going on here. As uh, currently, everyone just wants to really stay alive to the last stages for now. But looks like Teddy here just trying to see what other vision that he can get. Ten people alive here. And uh, we have our final circle already. So if it really comes down to the end, guys, what we're going to see here is that Sage Gaming going to hold this um, section here because they have the center of the circle. Frostfire probably needs to push and try and get inside. They definitely can move on to low ground, but you really put yourself at a disadvantage here. Base gaming here, probably gonna have to move in and push inside the building here. So if they push in, stage gaming, into stage gaming, Frostfire is gonna try and use that to their advantage here. But looks like Revax here, gonna pick up a couple kills there. And uh, I think uh, that's gonna be it there for Gold Army Factory and uh, Revax leading the way with three kills here on the board. Now, looks like we are down to three teams here. Stage Gaming, Frostfire, and the Face Gaming here all hanging out here. And uh, now there's only going to be one minute left here before the circle collapses on itself here. And we're going to see how that will be shaping up just a little bit later on. Oh, but looks like a pick comes out here as Revax able to pick off Young there. And now looks like all of Frostfire, or at least Revax here, Going to start moving into this position here and uh, at least get very close to the center of the circle. But uh, whether he wants to push up or not, we haven't seen yet. But ooh, just missing each other, him and Wilkes there in that little altercation there. But now Face Gaming starting to push through here as they're, they're going to try and get into the the back back entrance here for the the swimming pool side of things here. Sarah Beam and Zach going to be able to escape just a little bit here. But now Crossfire moving into this position, but looks like Revax here, putting pressure onto Seravim. Seravim gets taken down there, the nade... Oh, oh, it's actually just a, a smoke there. So he's still gonna be okay for the time being. Wilkes trying to see what angle that he can get, but Adul gonna pick him off there. He's just waiting for him to creep around the side. Stage Gaming here taking quite a bit of damage here, and Revax able to take out both Seravim and Zach. Uh, as the, they were hiding out in that little corner, but looks like Frostfire and Stage Gaming going to set the stage right now. And uh, Stage Gaming does have the high ground advantage, so they do have more maneuverability. And Teddy goes down here, so advantage going to Stage Gaming right now. And they could break Frostfire's winning streak so far here. As uh, Revex and Adol still going to be very much on the lower ground for the time being. And it might come to a stage where... It's going to be who can out heal each other the most here. But oh, looks like Kit uh, Young here creeping up over the side here. And Kit Young also going to take it down here. So now it's a two on one situation. Wilkes here going to have to be careful. Revex might be able to have, uh, or Adol might be able to have that good vision there. But this blue zone is fast collapsing. There is nowhere to go. Revex here going to start taking damage. And uh, now it looks like Wilkes here not going to be able to save his teammate. But he's it looks like Wilkes here taking. Too much damage here, and uh, he's gonna have to start his healing here already. And uh, now Adol and Revax here are probably gonna have to try and see whether they can out heal. But we'll see who's got more heals. But Wilkes here gonna try and come up with the play here. He knocks down one, but not able to get Revax as well. And it looks like Frostfire gonna make it three in a row. 
and uh, Revex going to be the last person standing yet again here. And uh, awesome play coming out from there. I like the idea coming out from Sage Gaming, but unfortunately uh, had to jump down there and try and take down both of them, I feel, uh, to try and get both of those players there. But what an ending, guys, as uh, we saw Frostfire able to take another clutch um, clutch victory there and uh, made it three in a row. So they're really going to climb up the standings that we have here in the Physrix Invitational PUBG scrims. Now, Revax here again contributing seven kills there. So he's having a great night so far here. And uh, Adul going to chip in here, two kills as well. Stage Gaming here going to come in second place here, getting a very good finish here, the best finish so far uh, as Vengeance didn't. Wasn't able to get three in a row in second place here. In third place, we are going to get um, the face gaming here, able to get into the top five here as uh, Zach going to lead the way here with two kills. In fourth place, we do have Gold Army Factory and Nine Holy getting some nice shots there. We saw from him earlier on, and um, unfortunately, he was in a very difficult spot with the rest of uh, Gold Army Factory. They're going to get caught out from that high ground on the roof of school and in fifth place it is going to be stadium fighter able to get into the top five here and kahaya going to get those three kills especially those two kills that he got via the the frag grenade uh when team Quarker was not aware of his presence and that's going to be it there for round number three guys so hope you're enjoying the stream we're going to take a short break and when we return we'll have our final round for this evening and the final round for the third round of um, scrims that we have for you for the Physrix Invitational PUBG scrims. So thanks, you're watching Play of the J, and I'll see you in just a little bit.